What's up, YouTube? Been a minute since I did a watch video. I'm going to show you some of the builds I've been working on. Uh, if you like any of these, stick around. I'll be talking about all of them at some point. I'm going to start with the ones in these, uh, called the Maxi case. It's based off like the six digit Rolex Submariner. I'm going to try to go through these really quick. But uh, these have a unidirectional click bezel and the uh, glide lock micro adjust in the clasp. So all of these are in that same case. I'm showing you some different ways they can be built. This is a commission piece for a customer. Turned out crazy. Look at that dial. This is a OEM SKX 007 dial. Um, meant to look like a Rolex Explorer 2. This is like a, I guess a fantasy GMT thing. Rolex never did one in this colorway, but I think it looks awesome. I forgot what watch that dials from, but it's some Seiko dress watch. I think it looks awesome in this diver case. I'm starting to get into some Yacht Masters. Uh, this is a, I think SRPD51 or 61 dial. It's OEM Seiko. This is aftermarket, some variations on the Rodium Yacht Master. And I got, you know, uh, what do they call these? The Sermit or the Kermit, Starbucks, whatever you want to call it, Batman. We got some rose gold stuff, polished and brush goat, rose gold. Uh,. Another Explorer style thing here. This is based off the, I think, the mid 80s Explorer when it had the red seconds hand. And uh, got the Hulk, of course. Um, this is a 43 millimeter case. It was able to fit a chapter ring in there. Marine Master style hands. Uh, 22 millimeter bracelet. It's the same as these other oysters, but it's just scaled up 10%. Pretty cool. Um, now let's move on to something unique. The Seamaster. This one has a, uh, fold-out diver's extension. I might do a separate video just on this watch because this one has gotten a ton of attention. It's pretty, pretty cool. Um... Moving on to some more vintage-y stuff. Um, I've started playing around with these cases. Um, it's based on the five-digit Rolex Submariner. So notice how the lugs are thinner, the crown guards are thinner, but it still has a flat sapphire crystal. And then that's what I'm wearing today as well. Uh, and then uh, here's a no-date version in that same case. So, going further back in time, um, you get the four-digit cases, which have an acrylic dome crystal and a bidirectional friction bezel, which means it turns both ways with no clicking. I've done a bunch of builds in these cases. Um, this one's got like a Bakelite style insert. And then a, a, a variation on that that I've done is putting a top hat crystal in there. You see how it's much flatter and it has a cyclops. This is probably my favorite watch in the world. I wore this for like four months straight. Love this. Um, messing around with a Tudor, Tudor style case. I don't really like these, me personally. They seem very, very thick and heavy and big. But if that's your style, it's cool. Got a 62 Moss style build here. And then uh, here's the last one. Um, it's meant to be like the Rolex, like the early GMT is like a 6542, but it has an aluminum uh, bezel. It's got the coin edge bezel. Uh, these 
come stock with like a domed sapphire crystal, but I put this this one in, and you'll notice that the magnification on the eight window is all kinds of weird because it's meant for a different watch. But um, most of these watches are for sale, but ones like this will not be just because um, they're pretty expensive and they're not meant for NH35 movements, and so you wind up with problems with the angle of the stem. Like, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's it's kind of hard to thread the crown on properly. So, like, I built this for myself, I wear it, but I probably won't be selling these. Uh, but pretty much any of this other stuff is for sale. So if you like, if you like these watches, um, check out my Instagram account. It's uh, fathertime underscore watches. I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks for watching, guys.